wow, there's a lot of energy. There's energy that comes out right here. Um, you can also, it also comes out through your fingertips. Some people say right here, but I feel it right through here. I feel it comes right through here. So this is Bell Rock. Um, it's another vortex. It's a different kind of vibe than the uh, one I was at earlier. This one, um, I'm not feeling it very, like, so strongly right now. I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the uh, thunderstorm that went through, but this one feels like it's, it, uh, it pulses. So it, like, the energy kind of comes up and then goes down. I've been drawn to this specific little spot before. I've come here, I've come here uh, two other times on my motorcycle rides. And so this is, uh, I think this is the second time I found this little spot, but it just feels like this is where there's a convergence of energy. Um, last time I had a, a pretty interesting experience with I feel like um, I was met, I met um, some elders or some, I don't know what they're called, what do we call them? Ancestors, ancestor spirits, but these uh, like wise, wise men. And I think there were three of them. And I'm getting that we're here and they keep calling me brother, uh, little brother. So I don't know if that's just a, term they're using for me or if uh, or if brother is is something else um, I ask him great people are coming up I ask him um, what I ask him about my name and I got um, po something pony and I think it has to do with me riding a motorcycle so I really hope this person in this bright orange shirt does not come up here. I want this place to myself. There's a freeway underneath here. So that adds to the excitement, adds to the, the grandeur. But yeah, this is a cool little spot. Okay, so um, the people coming up here gave me a, a little bit of a break and I was told, oh, don't be like that and all this. So I'm, I'm connected. Uh, when I kind of reach out with my aura, and you can imagine your aura and just imagine it extending out. If I do that right here, uh, it's almost like vibrating. Um, if I do this, it feels like it turns into a blanket or it turns into like a web and connects with the area. What's this place used for? Devotion. Devotion to who? Earth Mother. Why am I drawn to this little spot? Something little brother. Little brother, little brother, what? The energy, and then they're explaining, it's something like um, how a grasshopper chooses where it goes or something I don't understand. While reviewing audio and transcribing EVPs for this episode, I begin getting real-time or live EVPs. These EVPs are responding to what's happening or what I'm doing while reviewing the audio. They're in real-time, they're live. 
and sometimes it can turn into two-way conversation with EVPs changing and shifting into new words and sentences, responding and replying to my statements, my questions, my actions, both external and internal or mental. For example, during my audio review for this episode, I get EVPs talking about me and babies. I have no idea what they're talking about, but I've heard mention of babies before in other episodes, so I know it's important. So I start praying. I'm asking for whatever babies to be taken care of and taken to heaven. And it's more drawn out and meandering than that, but that's what I do. Then I turn to the audio review and they're talking about me praying, that I just prayed. And they're asking if I can hear them. Um, but the asking if I can hear them, that could be on site, on location in Sedona from that time. But they are talking to me about specific things I'm doing right now. So they tell me to stop with my review and I'm getting other psychic impressions that tell me that I have to stop my audio review and turn it off. Um, okay, so I understand where they're coming from. So I make a note of where I am and I shut it down. I turn off the computer. No more of that for the day. Why are they telling me this? I'll have to explain that in the future episode. How does it work? I don't know. They're either manipulating time, the digital file, or multiple people's perceptions of the EVP. Or it's so far beyond what I understand that I don't know. Um, it's radical and so far out that I hesitate to even bring it up, but because it happens, um, I'm going to talk about it. Nobody else talks about this. Nobody else has real time or live EVPs that I'm aware of. The message to stop correlates with other messages and impressions I've been getting over the past few weeks during the um, lockdown. They're telling me not to open up or work with my abilities, and I'm trying to follow my team's instructions. So I'm on psychic lockdown until further notice, and I suppose that includes listening to EVP audio. So I'll stop that for now. I'll explain all of this stuff later in a future episode, but right now I want to get this Sedona episode done and edited, and then I've got, I think, one more episode for this season, and then I'm going to start doing um, videos where I just talk to you guys and explain this kind of thing. So anyway, let's get back to Sedona. Um, up above me is where they would meet. Directly up above me or like, uh, there's something that looks like a crescent moon up there. And this is a place where uh, the, the earth connects to the sky. And if I were to be able to see the energy from it, it would be like an hourglass. So following this up, and then in the sky, there's a reflection of it. And as I sit here, there's a reflection of me in the sky in the same, same general place. And we're commun commun communing. Now I feel like something else happened or somebody else came in or I got distracted and now it's like some sort of poppy Star Wars talk or, or uh, yeah, something happened. Somebody, somebody else came in. Um, I'm getting something about the opposites and the reflection and everything. And there's something about the color, the color red from this rock. They see the opposite as blue. So blue versus red instead of um, going with green and red as being kind of opposite and I'm seeing me as yellow in both places. I'm just trying to interpret what I'm, what I'm receiving. What does the energy do here? It allows you to become whole. Uh, what about at the other vortex I was at? And they're calling that something sister. Is that the sister of this, in a sense? That draws out what you don't need. This place balances and fills, like fills you. Are there spirits here? Uh, I feel like there's disagreement. I need to check my audio, make sure I'm recording still. I'm told to, I, I was doing this, like feeling down. And they said, no, feel 
feel both down and up. It's like I can feel it, the energy, it's like it's uh, connecting through, through my palms, um, going through my palm and through my body this way. Wow, there's a lot of energy. Uh, you can do side balls. I'll have to explain what that is, but there's energy that comes out right here. Um, you can also, it also comes out through your fingertips. Some people say right here, but I feel it right through here. I feel it comes right through here. And um, when I'm, when I'm using that energy, it's not, um, it's not my energy. It's energy from, from the universe. It's universal energy. And I am just moving it through. I'm waiting in the water, basically. Okay, so what's the what's the situation with the pulsing that I, I was feeling earlier? It's like whoa, whoa, whoa. It'd be interesting to see if there's a like if people have tried measuring the energy up here or some sound or, or something. Seismic waves. Okay, so I'm asking about uh, the spirits here, like trying to go back, trying to go back to that question. The spirits, like, are there spirits here? And it's it's almost like a glistening rainbow kind of thing going on down there in the valley. I guess it it connects up up through this too. But I'm seeing like deer and rabbits and stuff like that. So I'm seeing more wildlife. I'm not seeing people. I'm not seeing people or um, other entities like people. I should call everybody people. Yeah, it's like full of wildlife, like spirit wildlife. Or that's that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. Uh, so what am I doing here? Somebody's asking. I'm exploring, I'm trying to learn, I'm trying to practice, I'm trying to get better. You're fine. Okay, thank you. I feel like my fairies want to move. They want to. They want to go. Is there anything for fairies here that's interesting? Hearing something about a lake and something about jewel, and I'm feeling a little prick on my finger, a little. So a lake and the word jewel, where is that? Southeast. Uh, does the thunder and lightning ha affect this place? Do, do the storms. I'm getting an answer like everything is, everything is interconnected. And so of course, it's, it's kind of my, the, the limits with my ideas of how, how the world works versus um, like a Native American attitude towards it. Sash, Sashkit, Sashkit. Poco hokum hokum. Is it raining? I better go if it's raining because this is, I'm on this slick rock and I want to make sure I can get down. So thank you and blessings to everybody that's been talking to me.